Hey there. Now, I get it. Genealogy research can be overwhelming. We have a gazillion ancestors that we want to do proud by learning about their lives and sharing their stories. But we only have so much time in our busy lives to dedicate to our genealogy endeavor. So how can we find a balance that allows us to do research without getting overwhelmed by it? Well, in this video, I'll share with you the top three ways I ditch the overwhelm and make my research sessions more productive, even if I only have a few minutes here and there. So, hey there, I'm Julie Cahill Tarr with Genealogy in Action, and I simplify advanced genealogy research concepts so you can chase down your elusive ancestors quickly and confidently. So if you're a dedicated genealogist looking to uplevel your research skills, you're in the right place. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways you can make your genealogy life a little easier and less frustrating so you can actually find the answers to your research questions. Now, these are simple strategies that when put in place can make things so much easier for you and bring the joy back to your research. So, real quick, I want to explain why these strategies are important to me and why I needed to put them in place. Now, I don't like to broadcast this, but I have a few different chronic health issues that impact my daily life. I only have a limited amount of time in each day to get anything done. And between running a business and a household, I don't have a lot of time left over for much else. Now, years ago, when I'd sit down to work on my genealogy in my free time, I found that I was wasting time reacclimating myself with a project, repeating searches, um, and finding the same records over and over again, and ultimately becoming very overwhelmed and very frustrated, which is not good for my health. So working in this manner was not a productive use of my very limited time, and I knew I had to find a better way to make the most of the short amount of research time that I did have. And once I figured out how to make genealogy easier for me, I was able to get a lot of work done in less time. Now, I wanted to share this because I want you to know where I'm coming from, as I suspect you may be in the same or similar boat, at least when it comes to the limited time factor. So I hope that you find these three strategies helpful. And if you follow through on them, I promise it will make a world of difference. All right, so here we go. First and foremost, I have a process that I follow. So I do the same thing every time on every project. This saves me so much time and energy and the repetitive nature allows me to stay on track when working on a project. Otherwise, I'd be back to my old habits of chasing bright, shiny objects and getting lost in those darn rabbit holes. Um, these detours take me away from the project at hand and it drains me of energy. Now, it took a few years of tweaking to get the process to a point where it's easy to remember and easy to follow. More importantly, though, my process allows me to work smarter, not harder, saving me valuable time and energy. Now, this process is essentially my problem-solving framework because I primarily used it to work through brick walls, but I actually use it for all my projects, whether it's a brick wall or not. All right, next up. Organization. Now, I consider myself a highly organized person. I like things in a certain place, arranged in a certain way that makes sense to me, so I can find things I need in a matter of seconds. Now, sometimes I get a little lazy and I end up with a two-file pile 
um, both paper and digital. And if I have to waste a lot of time searching through that pile or the catch-all digital file folder, I immediately set aside time to get that stuff put in its proper place because having everything in its place saves me time during the research session because I can find what I'm looking for quickly and easily. Plus, it's less overwhelming when you know exactly where to look among the mass of paper and digital files that we amass as genealogists. So if you'd like to learn more about how I organize my digital files, you can check out my blog post, Digital File Organization for Genealogy. Um, and for my paper filing system, I follow Mary Hill's system, and I'll put links to my blog post and Mary's system in the description for this video. All right, finally, I think it's extremely important to plan out your research. Haphazardly wandering around online or in a library or archives is not a productive use of our genealogy research time. Remember those bright, shiny objects and rabbit holes I mentioned earlier? These mishaps are inevitable without focused research. And I promise you, the more time you spend upfront planning your research, the more time you'll save overall. I've actually been tracking all of my time for like 10 years now, and I've been able to determine this is true based on the data I collected before the days of using a research plan compared to how I operate now. Research plan will help you focus on your specific research question, and it allows you to be effective and efficient in your research efforts. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, I am all about making things easier and saving as much time as possible. Without these two tenants, I wouldn't make any progress on any of my research projects. Now, another benefit of having a research plan is that you don't have to spend a lot of time reviewing your work to figure out what to do next. You've already mapped out your next steps and you can pick up where you left off with ease. Oh, and my plan doubles as my research log. So I'm recording my findings as I go, which helps keep me organized and saves me time later on when it comes to evaluating and analyzing my research. Now, I truly believe that using a research plan is so important that I decided to bring back my research planning magic mini course, which is designed to walk you through building an actionable research plan. Now, I'll pop a link in the description so you can sign up on the wait list to be notified when it becomes available, hopefully sometime in April. I need to make a few tweaks to it. All right, so to recap, We've covered three ways you can make your genealogy life easier. First, follow some sort of process so the work you do on each project is consistent. Second, get your digital files and paper files organized so you can quickly and easily find what you're looking for in a matter of seconds, not minutes, or heaven forbid, hours. Been there, done that. <laughs> And finally, number three, start utilizing research plans so you can determine what needs to be done and essentially stay focused on the project at hand in order to make progress. Now, I don't expect you to try and implement all three of these strategies at the same time because, well, that's going to be a little overwhelming. So my advice is to start with one then add in another and then add in the final one. And to choose your first strategy, think about the way you research now and the struggles you encounter. Which of the strategies that I taught you will help you improve your research right away? That's the one you should start with. So take a moment to think it through and then let me know in the comments which one you're starting with and why. And I really look forward to hearing from you and seeing what you're excited to start working on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're ready to try at least one of these strategies to make your genealogy life a little easier.
Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe using the button below and click the little bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released.